subscribe and hit the bell icon. The yellow-eyed penguin. What's the matter, hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <laughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Look, Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there. They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about. A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting too. The people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there and they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. <coughs> Hero, where are you going? There he is. <coughs> Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no, that would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know, do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There, that should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it! We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home! Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. 
so we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The dugong. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come on in, Hero. It's really nice in here. Look, Hero, I'm a shark. <laughs> Don't worry, Hero, it's just me. I'm not a shark. <laughs> Hero, I'm really not a shark. Uh, shark! Get out, Hero! I, I think that's not a shark, Hero. Phew! But what is it? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. Almost there. Our latest visitor is a dugong. It is also known as a sea cow. A sea cow? It doesn't look like a cow. It's sometimes called a sea cow because dugongs like to eat grass, just like the cows in the farm. But dugongs eat the grass in the sea. Sometimes they also eat jellyfish and shellfish. So where do dugongs come from? Dugongs can be found in the waters in the Indo-Pacific. Unfortunately, there aren't many dugongs left, so some places in the world try to protect them. Hmm. Our swimming pool isn't big enough for this dugong, so we should take it to one of those places that can protect it. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. boat out there. I think it's coming closer. They're coming at us fast. We better get out of their way. They're following us, Leo. Oh no! The people on that boat must have seen our dugong and want to catch it. Leo, they're shooting at us. Oh no, they're pulling us in. Their boat is much stronger than our jeep. Hero! What's Hero doing? I think, yes. Hero is biting through the rope. Good job, Hero. We're free. Now quickly get Hero in so we can leave. I've got Hero, Leo. OK, everybody sit tight. We lost them. Let's throw this net in the trash when we get home. Otherwise, animals might get stuck in it. Great idea, Leo. Look, there are more dugongs here. Goodbye, dugong. We did it. We found a home for the dugong. Hooray! Yay! found a dugong in our swimming pool. We learned that dugongs are called sea cows because they love to eat seagrass. Unfortunately, there aren't many dugongs left in the world. So we took it to a safe place with plenty of seagrass. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan pangolin. Hiya! Take that! And that! Ha ha! 
My loyal hound hero is here. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And now I'm also a knight. Hero, I need your help defeating this imaginary monster. <coughs> here, take that and that and that. Ah, he's getting away. After it. Whoa! Watch your step, Hero. What's that? Be on guard, Hero. It could be a dragon. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. So, is it a dragon I found? Hey, Leo. <laughs> no, you didn't find a dragon. You found a young pangolin. A pangolin? Yes, there are different types of pangolins, but this one is a Malayan pangolin. But it looks just like a dragon. It even has armor, just like the one I'm wearing. Just like your armor, the scales on the pangolin protect it from danger. Pangolins are very shy creatures, so when they're frightened, they curl into a ball and hide. I must have frightened it when I took pictures of it. So, where do pangolins usually live? Pangolins live in Asia and Africa. The one you found comes from Southeast Asia. Adult pangolins like to live alone. But mother pangolins will stay and protect their children until they know how to protect themselves. Then our young pangolin must be lost. We must bring him back home to his mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn It looks like we're in the jungle Let's see what we can find Here's a hollow in a tree And on this side is a large cave Next to a few trees Do you know where we should go? Over there is a hollow in a tree. And over there is a cave next to a few trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to head towards the hollow because Malayan pangolins live in trees. Let's go. <gasps> What's that? The pangolin is protecting itself by curling into a ball and rolling away. Quickly, let's follow it. Oh no, a log is in our way. Uh, it won't move. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come, Junior Rangers, let's go. Not you, Tiger. We did it! The pangolin found his mom. Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a young Malayan pangolin in our garden. We learned that pangolins live underground and in hollows in trees. So we went to the jungle and brought the young pangolin safely home. Good job, children. You did it. 
You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball. Hey, where can it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo. There is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. Hero, wait for us. Oh, wow. There are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Yay! Yay! an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. 
you are amazing wildlife rangers. The pygmy hippo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But... I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <coughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. OK, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie. I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. Hooray! Yay! We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! Yay! found a pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. 
So he went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it, too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah, a snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spit spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away, so it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here, that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Goodbye, little friend. We did.
did it! We found the Spitting Cobra's home! Great job, everyone! Yay! <laughs> found an equatorial spitting cobra in our garden. We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!